the king of Bani Mustalik, Al Harith ibn Darar, who was the father of the wife of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Juwayriya radiallahu anha. He came to Medina to visit the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to learn about Islam. After learning about Islam and learning about the pillars of Islam, he accepted Islam. And from the pillars of Islam that they had discussed was the issue of zakat. And he said, I'm going to go back to my people. I'm going to teach about Islam. And if they accept Islam, then I'm going to gather from them their zakat and I will send it to you. The Prophet والسلام, he said, I will send you a, one of my messengers to pick up the zakat and return it to Medina. After Al-Harith returned to his people, he gave them da'wah, he called them to Islam, and they accepted Islam, he gathered the zakat from them. The Prophet وسلم, then sent Al-Walid ibn Uqba to gather the zakat from them. And Al-Walid, he had had a problem with Bani Mustalib, with this tribe before Islam. So he was a bit wary, he was a bit nervous about going to them after Islam, but he followed the command of the Prophet وسلم, and went to gather the zakat. As he was about to enter into the city, he saw that there was a group of men coming out to greet him. He didn't understand they were coming out to greet him. He understood that there was a problem now. Why are they sending out these men? Their intention was to show the respect that they had for the Prophet وسلم, and the respect that they had for Islam. But al walid he understood it totally differently. He said, they don't plan on paying their zakat. He said, they're coming to kill me. So he turned around and he rode fast back to Medina. When he arrived in Medina, he told the Prophet وسلم, Ben al-Mustaliq refused to pay the zakat and they were coming to kill me. Upon hearing this, the Prophet وسلم, he became very angry. And how could we have an agreement? And then they go against it. So he told Khal al to gather his soldiers and to go and check and see what really happened. And as he sent Khalid out, a group came, a delegation came from Ben al because when they saw al walid had turned around and went back, they assumed that perhaps he received a message from the Prophet وسلم, to return and to not take their zakat. And they feared that this meant that Allah and his messenger وسلم, was not pleased with them. When they reached Medina, they went directly to the Prophet وسلم, and asked him what happened. Why did al walid return? Did, did something wrong? Did we do something wrong? Are you upset? Is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upset with us? After hearing their side of the story, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam waited for Khalid to come back with the news about what he saw was going on with Bani Mustaliq. And Allah sent down the verse in Surah Al-Hujarat, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu in ja'akum fasiqum bi naba'in fatabayyanu O you have believed, if the disobedient one comes to you with news, investigate, make sure. Why Allah tells us, فَتُصِيبُوا قَوْمًا بِجَهَالَةٍ That you might harm people through ignorance. فَتُصْبِحُوا عَلَى مَا فَعَلْتُمْ نَادِمِينَ And then you will become regretful from what you've done. This verse was sent down as a principle that we always must listen to both sides of the story and never pass judgment before we make sure and we investigate and the harms that can come from jumping to conclusions and not hearing the other side of the story.